us for the reading of the word of Almighty God, and let me direct your attention to John, Gospel according to John chapter 11, verses 5 through 15. I'm going to read verses 5 through 14 solo. Then ask you to join in with me with the reading of verse number 15. Once again, John chapter 11, beginning at verse number 5. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he walked. And after that, he said to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Mm. Jesus answered, are, not, are there not twelve hours in a day? <laughs> if any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. Yes, sir. But if a man walk in the night, yes, sir. he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he saith unto them, our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Yes, sir. And his disciples said, Lord, mm -hmm. if he sleep, he shall do well. Hmm. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking a rest in sleep. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Okay. Verse 15 with me, please. And, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. God bless you. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and to the heaters of his holy and his divine word. Bow with me, please. Our Father, our God, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy great and glorious name. We thank you this morning, Father, for blessing us to get up and being clothed in our right mind. Yes, sir. Father, we thank you for the sunshine yes, sir. which pierced through our windows early this morning. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this occasion which we are gathered together yes. that we might worship you and hear a word from you. Now, Lord God, we ask that you'll speak through your word. Bless me as thy messenger. I will speak thy words plainly and help your people see your will and your way. Yes. Bless the hearts of the hearers. Yes. They will be open and receptive to what you have to say. Yes. Speak, Lord, yes. and your children will hear. Yes. This is our prayer. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I'm glad I wasn't there. Is what Jesus said to his disciples. Yeah. And I want to take this particular thought this morning and understand why Jesus would tell them, I'm glad I wasn't there. Okay. Faith, the Bible teaches us, is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. Faith 
is that which gives us the strength to move according to the word of God. Even when we cannot immediately see the outcome of a certain situation. Faith is that which gives us the courage to face various difficulties in life because we're trusting in God to help us move the unmovable, mm -hmm. to fight the unbeatable, yes, to do the impossible, mm -hmm. and to stand the invincible. Yes, Faith is that which enables us to patiently wait on God for in our times of need, we need to be assured and certain that when I don't have a way, my God can make a way. Faith in God is what he requires of all of his children. Or even in Hebrews 11, 6, the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And while it is certainly true, my friends, that one who has faith in God will be victorious in whatever they're trying to accomplish or overcome. There are many of us today that say that we have faith in God, but we're not victorious when it comes to overcoming various pitfalls in our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm referring to those things that some of us have been wrestling with for a long time. Yeah. I'm talking about problems that we cannot seem to overcome and it looks like no matter how hard we try, it seems as though we'll never get beyond, we will never get past, we'll never get over or through this thing that's standing in our way. It's something that has occurred in my life. And because it has stayed longer than I have welcomed it, it has hindered my spiritual growth. Yes. It's something that has caused men to not be the husbands to their wives that they need to be. It's something that causes wives to not be to their husbands what they need them to be. It's something that causes parents to not be to their children what God would have them to be is something that keeps us from being to God all that we can be and because of this thing that we can't seem to let go of because of this thing that we can't seem to overcome we we sometimes feel as if we're not going to make it and yes, many times we just throw up our hands and uh -huh. surrender to the enemy because we've given up hope of ever being to God what God would have us to be yes, the real right problem of my friend lies with your faith. Right. There's something wrong with your ability to trust God to make everything all right. I mean, why can't you let go of something that's causing you to not effectively serve God? Why can't you let it go of something that will cause you to lose your soul? Why can't you give up Whatever it is you need to give up so that God can bless your life and set you on a course to happiness. I'll tell you why. Because there's something wrong with our faith. Oh, it's God. not that God can't do it. Right. It's something wrong with our ability to trust God to do it. It's not that we can't. Many times we just don't try. Because we don't have enough confidence in God's ability mm -hmm. to help us finish what we're starting. Yes, sir. The problem is we have a lack of faith mm -hmm. in the power of the God that we serve. Mm -hmm. And therefore to help us with our inability, to help us with our unbelief, God sometimes allows things to happen in our lives that will result in us having a greater faith in the power of God. Yes, in John chapter 11, we have one such incident where the Lord, who certainly had the power to heal all manner of sickness and disease, hears that his friend Lazarus is sick. 
and it doesn't immediately respond to what he hears. 